I know what I'm doing, maybe. Here we go. How about, a, how about uh, less fiddling and more talking? Yeah, speaking of talking, I've been this, uh, I guess, the past few episodes, I've been doing like a, like a, like a pre-stream chat uh, on my Discord, and we've had some really good conversations just about where the project's going, what people else people are working on, and just different. Uh, mostly it's been about uh, old FPS engine talk, which is pretty cool. So uh, thank you to those who uh, participate in that. Uh, let me take care of this thing. Uh, let's get the little sub bot back. Uh, commands. Yep, there we go. And that's the Discord uh, right here, if you folks are interested. Uh, it is a pretty well open community. Everybody's friendly and helpful. All right, but uh, enough about that. Hey, I am Joshua, and this is my lunch break stream where I work on uh, projects over my 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 lunch hour, uh, one hour at a time, one day at a time, Monday through Friday, twelve Pacific. Uh, and currently, I am working on a tool to turn two D tile maps into uh, Quake uh, maps uh, of varying degrees of three Dness. Uh, there's certainly three D maps. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm kind of curious to see where I can take this. So let me fire up the um, the tile editor. Look at that. And we can kind of see what's going on here. How is everyone today? And hopefully my tile editor loads. Maybe. Hmm, my poor computer seems to be a little slow today. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me see, is it, is it hung? Uh, details. Oh, nope, it's just, it's just thinking about it. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is what I have. Uh, it is a very simple 2D layout. Uh, last stream, I enabled point entities, which is pretty cool. So um, with the quick stuff, as long as you give it uh, the correct uh, class name, so name is class name, and then you should be able to drag it around and do whatever you want. Um, also, if the Quake entity supports other properties, uh, you should be able to just list them here in the custom properties, uh, and they will get copied over uh, accordingly. So here I have a very basic, you know, player start, shells, shells, uh, super shotgun, and a couple of uh, uh, grunts down here, and we could jump in. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, up to and quake plus map, click out, and yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> so this is what I got. I mean. Not not super not the not the best quick map in the world, but again, it was it was created pretty darn quickly, and we could we could change the layout here. Uh, let me go through. Let me just do a round trip real quick to show folks how how this is working. Um, so let's just go ahead and change this up. Let's go to uh, our layers to our tile layer. Let's grab the, uh, the stamp tool. I think is what they call it, or the brush tool stamp tool, and I can stamp this. Uh, so this void is empty space, and then the the gray is uh, is our walls. I can kind of change out the layout a little bit. Maybe uh, I can go to my object layer and then I can grab these uh, these grunts. Maybe try to set a little bit of an ambush here, maybe behind. Um, try to think, where does it, try to think, what is the top, where is the cord actually? Uh, is it the top left? Is it the center? Um, looks like the bottom left is where the cord is being used. So this should be approximate. Um, Maybe there's a maybe there's a better way to get precision out of this, but we can just do this and this. Uh, let's do the player here. Um, let's grab these shells. Put the shells on either side of the door. Uh, there we go. Put maybe this here and this here. Um, and I, could, I think I can add an angle, maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh no, oh no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I know what I'm doing here, let's do this. Yeah, so there. So I, I, I chopped off this section of map and I am busy uh, kind of modifying. Um, yeah, just add, I'm setting up a little, little ambush with some monster guys just on the other side of the door, nothing, nothing super um, interesting there. 
So you have a player, some shells, and a shotgun to try to lure people out to this uh, this ambush. So I can save this, and then I can go to my script, and I can run it. And then I just need to uh, go to my maps directory and copy uh, uh, and QBSP uh, out dot map which will compile it. Uh, I should be able to set the angle key right now. Uh, let's do um, quake plus map. Um, uh, out. There we go. So yeah, so again, the scale is a little off. It's probably too big. I forget that the uh, my building blocks are 128 by 128. Um, so um again uh right now the the tiles aren't super important it's just the fact that things are getting uh laid down as i expect them to be laid down cool uh so i i, I want to be able to play with the tile size eventually tiles could be as big as a room or as small as like uh 16 by 16. Uh, you do have to keep in mind that um the side effect is is um some of the triangulation gets weird uh i think i think the edit like i think the compiler is trying to be smart and like combine like surfaces but it's not always not always as you know um, uh, super great at uh, optimizing, but um, if you want to build an optimized level, this is not the way to do it. Uh, <laughs> cool. So this is where we're at, and then I think today I was talking about either um, uh, either starting work on yeah. So Muck, Muck is confirming there is a merge portion of QSB, uh, QBSP. No QSP, uh, it's fine. Um, <laughs> Jay Mickle is saying that my, my dimensions are incorrect. Uh, Cordero's 192 and uh, Doom, so 128 is unacceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Jay Mickle. Um, uh, I'm glad you feel strong to be about it. Cool. Yeah, 120 is, is pretty standard. I mean, I just picked it kind of out of a hat. Um, so let's. So I guess the, the burning question is do we work on. Let's work on, I guess, uh, tile. Um, Transformation. So um, let's go ahead and see if I can make that work. Can I? I think I can. Let's try this. Okay, so a couple things. Um, let's fire open uh, Trench Room. And what I want to do, also I need to get Photoshop open. Okay, so I want to go to my YouTube. Uh, utils, TMX to map, uh, and these are the, where are my, my data? These are my tile, this is my tile set here. I think, can I just drag that onto Photoshop? Is it, is it smart enough? Um, I just open. Hmm. Copy path, control O, control V. Control V, go. Yeah, so this is what we have right here. Um, it's not super um, descriptive, but it works. Um, so what I want to do maybe is try, uh, let's try to make a, a different kind of wall. Uh, one that does uh, affect, is, is affected by orientation. So let's just do something like, let me see, get the old, yeah, I think my, 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 my tablet's probably overkill for this, but let's do this. So let's go down here. Let's do something like, uh, these, so these, these sorts of, um, Tiles are pretty, pretty. Uh, they're somewhat standard in uh, like two D, two D art. Do you have tiles? Let me thicken it up just a little bit. Again, this is this is not a, not for a final um, final usable Quake tile set, but this hopefully will be uh, illustrative enough for us to worry about the different types of um, configurations we will run into. So we have a corner. Uh, we have um, a wall. And then we'll have uh, inside corner. 
Um, these are pretty pretty basic. Like this, right? Um, uh, Jim Nichols, I was thinking about this and I was thinking if you have a tool to build the tile prefabs, they could generate the tile set for you in tile ed. Yeah, that, that would involve me making another tool. <laughs> yeah, I want to I want to avoid making too many tools. Um, but yeah, let's just so save this, and then I come back to tile ed, and yeah, it already actually hot loads, which is really really cool. Okay, so let's um, let's start using these new tiles and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to select this, and let's go go over here and just chop out this chunk of the map. A really cool thing with tile ed, you can if you right click and drag, you can create a brush. So I can. Uh, just copy a big chunk of nothingness and paste it out there, uh, which is nice. Um, there we go. And then just kind of fill this room in. Uh, there we go. Maybe kind of blot out all this too. I go to this object layer and I can delete these. They're just floating out into nothingness. Um, so what I want to do is this is tile one, two, three, four. These will be tiles five, six, uh, five, six, seven. But typically sometimes when you're when you're making uh, tile sets you want to have trim pieces so let's go to the tile here let's add this we have a, a room like this and then what we do is we would add uh, like this and then like this and this tool is smart enough where i can flip stuff so i could flip this and put it there and i could flip it vertically and put it there and then horizontally one last time you put it there i can right click this then i can um rotate this because I have to rotate it to rotate it because if I, I flip it uh, I can't I can't get it to um, uh, get it to how I want it to be so let's just let's just rotate this one on through hopefully this will give us enough um, uh, this will be a decent decent enough use case for us to figure out how we're going to build this um, cool so let's save this so I need to provide definitions for tiles uh, five six seven right now so let's go ahead and make those uh, and that's where trench broom comes into play. If I open up uh, T0, let's hit, uh, just open that up. Uh, this is what I got. And I think uh, maybe Shamblinot or Mucker or somebody yesterday put, um, turned me on to, I guess, uh, Crether made uh, a bunch of uh, like prototype-y uh, um, textures. So I'm gonna throw in um, prototype.wad, because that's really cool. That's what I want it to do. Um, Cool. Let's do that. Beautiful. Let's turn off uh, this one, I suppose. Okay, and then we have these beautiful prototypey textures. So I don't really want to worry so much about um, details so much. And let's just find ourselves a nice, uh, nice floor swatch. Um, brown surprise. And uh, does he have sky? Um, he, he has a sky perfect this is this is excellent okay so now we have those let's go ahead and let's um let's save this and then what i want to do is like, we need to make these half tiles uh so again i think yeah hit space we have this view which i never knew existed which is super rad so we want to make uh this this configuration here so let's go back through all my views. Let's select this bottom one. And then I can do something like this. Yep. And uh, maybe like this. And I could duplicate it and drag it. So, yeah, that's okay, that's correct. So um, yeah, I guess we, I could do that too. It doesn't really matter per se. Um, because these need to be uh, a wall like that. And I need, um, actually, before I get too crazy, let's also uh, duplicate this one and put it in place. That up there. Uh, there we go. And actually, since we're, since we're talking about trim textures earlier, let's why not just do a little bit of trim, right? That's, uh, that's, a, that's a fun bit of map building. So let's pull this down here. Let's duplicate this. Let's pull this up on the z-axis. Then let's just pull this uh, top face up to the sky. Then let's grab these bits and uh, let's make it like a dark brown, I guess. Uh, would be a good trim color, maybe. Darker than that. 
Let's just go crazy. Like, like do we have a like a gray? Uh, it's not standing out enough to me. I want a, I want a nice darker color. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I don't get what I want. Green. Uh, let me turn off the trench broom grid so I can see what's going on here. Uh, hey, fifth elephant. Thanks for, uh, thanks for resubscribing, man. I really appreciate your support. Um, <laughs> uh, making a 128 by 128 quake level. No, thank you. Um, no, thanks. Uh, red and eh, whatever. Um, it should work for what we're doing. Um, I think, does he have a a skip or a no draw? I think skip is correct, right? So if I put skip on, on this face, does that do what I think it does so it doesn't draw that? Is that right, folks? Folks who are smarter than me, please let me know. Um, cool. So yeah, so Muck says, don't worry about it. Uh, QBSP will call the invisible faces. So uh, less work for Joshua to do, even better. Cool. So we have this. So let's say file, save as. And this is going to be uh, T5, I guess, is, is that one. Uh, okay. And then I need um, this little wall section, it's just half wall, half floor. Let's do that. It's just going to be uh, delete that, and there we go. Um, so file save as uh, T six uh, save, and then for T seven, it's just this tiny little corner up here. Let's just grab uh, both of these, and then let's do that. And duplicate that and then push it up here and pull that there and there we go and this is gonna I mean while while not super beautiful it will allow us to uh, file save as uh, t7 this will allow us to hopefully start looking at how uh, transforms need to happen cool yeah you know that that, that totally makes sense yeah that's why um, uh, yeah, so Muck is pointing out when you when you no clip out of a level, you still can see through walls because they are uh, they're cl uh, cl uh, they are calling back faces. That is the word I wanted to use. Okay, so we have five, six, seven. Uh, so let's go ahead and add those to the tile sets. We're doing this by hand because we're still working on a prototype, unfortunately or fortunately. Uh, so I can be kind of loose and fast with the code. Uh, so let's do this. Let's say this and. So with tile sets T5, this is in slot five. Um, there we go. Okay, so T6 to six and seven and seven. Okay, so we should throw these down. Uh, so in fact, if I, if, I, if I save this and run it, it should work. Uh, but the, the thing we're going to see is it doesn't honor uh, the rotations and the flips. So let's just see what that looks like. Um, so what this does, fifth, is we have this 2D tile map here. And then I, and this, uh, so I run my script. Uh, oh, interesting. What happened? Uh, tiles at seven equals in about loads file read. Uh, data. Files uh, five six seven five six seven. So if I were to cut this and run it, um, okay. So I'm getting what my map parse error. Extra name. Interesting. Did the there's something? Uh, what's going on with this texture name? Curious. Uh, debug. 
extra name, string little advanced uh, ID, so F8. Oh, what's going on? Uh, let's try this again. So I am parsing a map file. Um, my current token is a numeric literal 128. Um, I'm thinking something's wrong with the uh, T5 map definition. Is that what's going on? Let's take a peek at that. Uh, and where is the value 128? Oh, oh, I wonder. I wonder if my parser can handle. I wonder if this is a bug in my, my, my parsing of the map code. Um, I wonder if my, my, my regex doesn't actually expect a number to start. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it might be tripping over like this. Let's take a look at my code. Uh, string literal ID. What is string literal? Um, uh, Yeah, so my, where is my, not my quoted string literal, literal pattern. Uh, this is my literal pattern. Let's throw this in a regexer and see what happens. So the texture is something like 128 gray. Uh, So what about, um, okay, so that, yeah, that did match okay. What's, what's going on? What's, what's the problem? Uh, so maybe that isn't the issue. Um, okay, let me just, uh, let's just step through this and see what's going on. F9. So we're hitting that before, oh, because I changed, I changed uh, T0, I think. Is that right? Uh, F7, all right. F8, F8, F7. Uh, step out. Step into. Step out. Can I step into just my code? Yeah. Dang it. Dang it. That's not what I, not helpful. What's my location? My location is at 939. So let's look at, at least, at least I was kind enough to myself that my, my map file parser will give me the location of the error. So that's handy. Let's look at this. And if we look at 9 comma 39, uh, 39. Yeah, it's definitely complaining about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is. Let's fix my my map thing. Um, uh, I think what's hap. I think the, since it, since what what it does is it it turns uh, the entire the entire map file into a series of tokens, and then we parcel the tokens one by one. I think what's happening is this this literal token and this. Uh, numeric token are getting conflated. Um, yeah, it looks like Neki is, is also agreeing that you don't need to add you don't need to add skip textures. Uh, cool. Um, I'm just worried if I flip this, I'll get some weirdness too. Let's try that. Let's just swap those two, and then see how see what kind of craziness I get myself into. Uh, yeah. Elif numeric literal. So yeah, so this is where we're matching all this stuff. Numeric literal. Why is numeric literal matching? Oh, because the ordering does matter, Joshua, because you're a dummy. So let's also stop this and then uh, let's, wait. Uh, let's move this over here. Uh, save and debug. 
F9. Uh, probably the same similar issue. Uh, nine, nine comma three, which is same line, but yeah, like, um, the, probably the very first numeric literal it hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, dang it. Okay. Um, so let's not focus too much on this. Let's just switch the textures back. And this is a, a, a bug I need to fix maybe off, off stream. Okay. So... Let's do this, and then let's just do something like um, remove that wad, add a new wad, um, Joshua names quake id wads, and just id dot wad is sufficient. Sure. Okay, and then this can be uh, floor something, right? I think I used floor something. Yeah, that this can be I don't know metal something uh, this this can be brick I think brick that and not a lot of contrast there let's do uh city like that that'll be fine uh save and then let me just kind of make, make a new instance of trench broom open up t6 and add our texture collections and remove that and uh, goodness id okay this is floor that this is Metal, that, this is city, that, cool. Save, and file, open, uh, where was it, tiles, and T5. Again, just fixing the wad, and then I can, yeah. Let's do, Joshua games quake id wads id dot wad or this yep this city this should be metal that one this one should be or Uh, save. So now, cross my fingers, this should work. Let's run this. Nope. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, um, yeah, let's go to our command line. Uh, let's do, let me see. Uh, uh, can I just undo it from here? Unless somebody can help me out with a quick. Undo, 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 undo. Save. Then that should restore it. Uh, hey, Simon. Git status. Cool. And now if I run the script? Joshua, what have I done? Uh, I'm still getting a parse error. Uh, expected string literal. Got numeric literal. Uh, at line 39. 939. Um, or did I not fix? Did I not fix the the thing? It file open uh, tiles t zero. I did not fix that because I am a dummy. Okay, so remove that and then add the wad. Um, 
Wads, uh, id, sure, okay. And then I need to add to just floor or something or whatever. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, oh, no draw on source. Yeah, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. So let's try that. Go. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, key error five. So it's pulling up tile. F I thought I was setting tile. F oh, uh, control V. There we go. Yeah, let's try that now. Key error four. Um, uh, how about tiles uh, at uh, four is equal to none because there's nothing there. Am I using tile four somewhere? Uh, hopefully not. I am. I am. That is also the problem that most of my tiles look exactly alike. Is there a way to show the tile indices, indexes? Maybe. Maybe not. Meh. Let's see. Okay. Save. And go. Cool. So now let's go file open recent uh, out.map uh, quake. Uh, yeah, and this is what it spit out. This looks like the the old one. Uh, file open recent the wrong app.map. File open uh, tiles tmx output app.map. Load this one. There we go. This is what we expect, right? So uh, we're introducing tiles now that have a concept of directionality. So uh, in a few cases, they work correctly because it's just there's no there's no transformation at all, and then these other ones they are flipped uh, incorrectly. Um, so what we need to do is we need to um, flip both horizontally and vertically, and I think we also need to handle like arbitrary rotations of 3D tiles. Um, and typically, how you how you do this is you just do linear algebra. You just build a matrix and you slam all the points through that. So I think that shouldn't shouldn't be awful. Um, <laughs> says Joshua halfway through his stream. Um, but yeah, let's try that. Um, and if I remember correctly, how tile ed stores this data is there are three flags on any given 2D tile, uh, whether it has a horizontal flip, a vertical flip, or a diagonal flip. And we need to figure out what to do with that. Um, cool. Cool, cool. So, yeah. Let's do, let's do matrices, I suppose, is where, where we're headed. Um, okay, so now if I, if I think correctly, when we look at this tile map, um, uh, geez, they're, they're going to be way buried. Um, let's do, let's make our lives easy and we can just right click and then we can just drop these, say right there and just copy a whole, a room, whole cloth. Um, and it should be like within the first five tiles, I should get one that's flipped. Um, so this could be, this could be random. Um, I mean, all this is, is just building out um, a 2D array, right? So two dimensional arrays aren't the most uh, dip, like uh, difficult thing to, to uh, proc gen. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely with my background in procedural generation, I, I'm, I'm thinking that direction. So save that. And then let's add a breakpoint, say here, and let's hit go. And then when it, we hit a breakpoint, cool. So let's, we can just dig into our tile map in this watch uh, uh, area here, tile map, layers. Uh, this is our tile layer here. Uh, and uh, our tiles, are, there's a lot of them, but it starts with zero. So I think our fourth uh, tile number four should be the first one that has a, um, has a horizontal flip uh, value of true. Uh, I'm assuming it's horizontal flip and a vertical flip and a D flip, which I'm assuming is diagonal. Um, yeah, you, you can all, you can almost be sure. Um, uh, I will pro I will try to make a proc gen thing for this as well. Um, what's also cool is you can set up um, like you can set up rules and tile ed to do like all these fancy corners and stuff for you, so they can do uh, some like post and like cleanup stuff for you too, which is nice. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm really excited to get this to a point where people can start making maps and tile sets with it. But it's gonna it's still it's still a ways off. Uh, we're still in the prototype phase, trying to make sure that I get all the the stuff kind of stitched together and then I'll clean it up. So it's the code isn't, doesn't make, it's not, it's not nightmare fuel. And then I can get this tool out. 
Um, okay, so um, what I need to do next is NumPy. NumPy is numeric Python. It is a, let's just, it's just a, it just gives us um, nice um, um, like mathematical objects to work with. Uh, if I said something like NumPy matrix, um, I should have refreshed myself on this before doing it live on stream, but whatever. Uh, I'm probably be okay-ish. Uh, Shamblanot says, what happens in, about textures in the case of flip brushes? That is actually a very good uh, case to take care of, right? Um, we ought to be able to straighten that out. Should. We'll see. Um, definitely, yeah. Um, uh, my my inspiration is a is a procedural first person shooter called Jibhard, and I think uh, Brahm uses a very similar uh, style of map. Uh, I just saw a few screenshots that uh, made me think, huh? I wonder if he does it like this, and then I am pursuing the like this part. Um, cool. So let's just install NumPy. Uh, pip install NumPy. Oh, it's already set up. Cool. I already, already have NumPy. Okay. Um, let's do that. So then, uh, TMX, uh, uh, import NumPy. Perfect. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about any kind of deep dream stuff, but uh, maybe you, you could definitely, you could definitely make a face in this pretty quick, right? Um, you know, boop, boop. Just like pixel art, you know? Done. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, it, it's pretty quick uh, in terms of like laying down stuff. Um, I'm just curious where I was trying to, I'm just a, it's just a, it's a thought exercise and experiment. I'm trying to follow it to where I think it can go. Okay, so importing NumPy and we need to do some matrix stuff. Let's just get a very basic usage of it uh, going first because we just need a transformation matrix, which is a pretty pretty easy uh, matrix. Uh, we need a four dimensional matrix to do most uh, transformations in 3D. Um, I need a matrix of uh, da, 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 da. array like or string. If I just want to, maybe I'm doing this wrong, but I just want to start off with the basic identity matrix of dimension four. Um, this is what I want. So let's just do something like, um, yeah, we're going to basically, where, where, are these, where we're doing these offset ads here, we should just be able to do, um, um, yeah, this offset x offset y and then we're just manually adding it to each point what we do is instead of manually adding uh, a value to each point um you could think of us feeding this point through a, a, a machine that we crank the handle on and the new point comes out the other end and that's what a matrix basically is is a series of um mathematical operations that we can kind of um uh, uh what's the word uh reckon uh, some certain properties on okay so let me just let me just make sure i get this whole stuff set up correctly so let's just say um, uh, mat is equal to numpy dot matrix. Okay, and then uh, something like I think I can treat it like how does it look like? Okay, so uh, a list of lists of one zero zero zero, um, and same. Actually, it needs a comma there because I know what I'm doing. I promise. Okay, and uh, okay. this should be the identity matrix. Does the NumPy, you'd think NumPy has a simple way of getting, uh... nope. Okay, um, uh, yeah, let's just check that out. Go. Okay, so we do have a matrix. Um, uh, um, can I do something like uh, mat times one uh, times one zero zero? Uh, or is it the way around? 
one zero zero times mat. Uh, oh, it wants, okay, so it wants a dimension four. Cool. So we get out. Yeah, it's it's it's, a, it's an identity matrix. So uh, what we drop in it, we should get out. Okay. Um, that is cool. Um, so now we need to look up um, a let's see, look at a translation matrix. I'm pretty sure in the it's just in the, the fourth column you drop in. Uh, yeah, the yeah the dx, y, and z. Cool. That's how we construct that. Just like like this. So, um, okay. So let's just say something like um, identity matrix is equal to this. Um, I'm not sure where quite to squirrel this away to, but maybe not inside my import statements. Uh, just, there we go. And then in here, um, <laughs> oh, ouch, Simon, easy, easy now. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we have an X and Y to translate by. Um, um, cool, so then uh, uh, let's say translation, or let's say mat, mat equals numpy dot matrix. Um, we'll just copy this up here since I already have it. Then I can just kind of clean it up real quick. That, then this is just uh, mat. Okay, there we go. And what we want to do is just in here, so uh, offset uh, x and uh, offset underscore y. Uh, cool. And then um, I'm not doing anything with z, am I? I don't think I am. So then um, what I can say here is um, so right here I'm saying uh, s is equal to copy point x plus offset x, copy point y plus offset y, copy point 2. So I'm not doing anything to this z. So I should be able to say, um, let's say real quick, let's say t is equal to um, mat uh, times um, copy point, or do I have that backwards? Um, what is the correct operation? Um, Correct order for multiplying a vector and a matrix. Sorry, I, I, I'm really rusty on this stuff. Um, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, I don't know if NumPy has a concept of rovec versus callvec, but maybe. Um, Uh, let's, it looked like it the other way worked too, so copy point uh, times mat. And let's just see what that looks like. Go. Uh, go. Yep, it does not like it. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I need to pad. I need to pad out my vector. Um, so this copy point. Uh, copy points. Is there an easy way to do this? Is there, is there, is there a gross way to do this? Um, uh, point equals uh, one, two, three. And if I said something like point, does that work? Point. No. Um, Oh, that, so that does work. Beautiful. Okay, okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So, 
Uh, I can be super lazy and do it this way. That is beautiful. And I, want, I don't want four. That's bad. Uh, I just had it with zero. Uh, go. Okay, cool. So T is... It is a matrix. Looks like it's a row matrix, which is okay. If I do it the other way, what does that look like? Um, so if I do mat times, um, copy point comma zero. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's definitely not right. Okay. So, uh, so T, uh, let me erase my watches. Let's add a new watch. Uh, let's say T and zero. Um, if I T and zero, I just want to split this out into, um, I just want to, I just want the little bits out of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so basically what you can think of is um, the high level approach is uh, this is a matrix. And typically in 3D math, uh, we construct a four dimensional matrix looking like this. And you can build these things up and you can smash them together. So if you have one that says move on the XY plane and one that says rotate, if you multiply those together, you get both of those effects. So what you do is you build up these matrix things. And then when you run 3D points through them, it will apply those transformations. Um, so what I want to do is have a, a series of uh, transformations that capture the flipping and the rotation and stuff. Um, and then all, the, all I have to do is take all the points out of the brushes and just shoot them through the, uh, the matrix. And out the other side should be a correctly rotated uh, brush in theory. Um, okay. Um... Uh, Joe Fish says, watch out for the order, otherwise stuff will look funny. Uh, what what order uh, are you referring to? Um, T. Um, uh, list of T at zero. Can I do that? Um, interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, CGO says you might want T at zero, zero. Interesting. Um, um, yeah, we could try to see what that is. T at zero, at zero. Yeah, I, I mean, it just the watch is looking really weird. Um, yeah, yeah, T is definitely a multidimensional array. T looks like it is a, um, it is a it is a, a matrix uh, that has one row that is four columns. Um, and I'm just trying to split that out. Is all I'm trying to do. Um, oh, I I never knew my my Moobot did that. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, my Moobot just usually I use it to spam chat to remind people that I I, I exist. Um, cool. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, uh, is there a fast way to do a NumPy matrix to uh, sequence? Yes. Uh, to list? Is that a thing? E dot to list. Yeah. Yeah. The Yeah. Yeah, tilde two list of zero. Um, because S is just a sequence. I think it's a tuple, but that doesn't matter, right? So, um, if I said something like uh, T is equal to uh, T dot two list uh, zero, I should be fine. Uh, let's rerun that. Uh, so now T is a list zero sixty four, some giant number. And then S is not that, not that at all. 
<laughs> and I'm not sure why my Debbie cord is that crazy either. Um, I might be doing this the wrong way. Zero sixty four zero, and this one is sixty four four ninety six zero. Um, yeah, because I'm just I'm just here. I'm just manually adding the X and the Y and doing nothing with the Z. Um, and it was it was complaining about the matrix the other way around. Um, Mat times uh, copy point comma zero. Or should my or should my do I need to be appending a, a one to my W chord instead of a zero? I'm not sure. Four four and one four are not aligned. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. So commands is for my my personal bot, and then the other one is for the move bot. Um. Uh, uh, ch -ch 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 should I be padding with one? Is that my... Man, my linear algebra is super rusty. Yeah, that didn't help either. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not working on Delver right now. Sorry there, uh, Joe Fish. I'm working on a tool for Quake uh, because um, I was working on Delver and we are feature complete and I'm taking a little bit of a break um, during my lunch hour to work on uh, this stuff, which is cool. So I definitely need a linear algebra refresher uh, is what I am quickly learning. Um, uh, my matrix. Zero zero sixty four. Four zero. Okay, so should just be adding sixty four to the chords, um, but it's not doing that. Um, and, and have I got my order wrong on NumPy? Uh, basis separating columns and okay. Um, okay, that looks correct. We had oh, any uh, men? Uh, <laughs> yeah, lunchtime development. Trying to work on a pro. Uh, committing to working on a project one hour a day, you can actually get more done than you think you can. Um, and it's, it's, it's a nice way to break up my, my day. Because I do, I'm right now doing contract work uh, for various uh, video game studios. Um, and I like to break up my day with a little bit of personal work, which is cool. Um, cool, yeah. So special operators, yep, that just works. Um, mm hmm hmm. Yeah. Um, so what I what I what I what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to have just a nice quick way of blocking out a quake level. Um, so, like I could like yeah. Um, since I have five minutes left, maybe I'll just make a quick one with the stuff the the tech I already have, and then I could talk about that. So, um, quickly. Uh, so if I wanted to redo this level entirely. Let me just say this. I can scrub out here, right? Um, and then grab the walls, throw in some walls here, walls here, like that. And then I can do something like this, uh, maybe like this. Um, I can go to my object layer and I can change where the player start and the shell's there. Um, 
Let me put the super shotgun out there. I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to have an alternate, uh, an alternate uh, map making tool. Is 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 really kind of what it what it is. Um, and then uh, tile. These two D tile editors also have nice support for doing different things like, um, uh, like uh, like handling these little corner cases and stuff like that, and having special tiles. Uh, there we go. Little wall there. Uh, cool. So I can hit save, and then I can hit uh, uh, go. And then I can go to my command prompt. Uh, and I can go to my quick directory, my maps directory. I can copy over and I can build it. And I can play it. Cool. So yeah, here's the new map we just made. Uh, yep, shed this room here, and then turn the room here, and we have this little thing blocking off the grunts. Yeah, and it was, I mean, I made that, that map in like maybe just a couple minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, so right now it has pretty boring 3D tiles, but you can, I think you can do quite a bit more 3D tiles than people think. Uh, and I, I do want to play with doing elevation, but right, right now I'm just trying to have just, a, um, just kind of generally solving the whole 3D tile issue. And then from there, we can get fancy once we have support for uh, all the tile, tile features. Uh, hey, Steven. Uh, no, um, so I've, I've been getting into the whole realm of linear algebra and matrix operations um, with, with, with not quite total success. Um, basically, I want, to, I want to take what I have now and I want to um, have it use a matrix so then I, could, I can support fancy stuff like this. So if you look down here, um, I just have um, I have a, like an inside corner and a, an outside corner and a wall, right? So I could do even something using, like using this here. I could do uh, that and then I could, uh, uh, I could flip it vertically and put it there and then horizontally put it there and vertically again. And again, this is all just one tile that, that is just oriented differently. Um, so I want to be able to support this, uh, which, which is it's just part of the, you know, the, the tool set for these 2D tile maps. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that's where I'm at. So I do have this stuff generating. So if we were to look at it, uh, open recent out, sure. So if we, yeah, there's all this, there's that little happy face I made over here. Uh, but if you look, it right now it doesn't honor the the orientation of the uh, the map, and I'm trying or the tiles, each 3D tile. So I'm I'm working on getting it to honor that correctly. Uh, yeah, but I I am out of time. Um, so let me go ahead and wrap things up. I think I'm at a, a decent enough uh, spot. So let me just do something behind the scenes real quick. Uh, just getting my, my subscriber list because I, um, I always forget to update that until I'm in the middle of my stream, which is always a terrible time to uh, update uh, my, my viewers but, or my, my subscribers or whatever. Okay, so hey, I am Joshua. Uh, you can follow me here on Twitch or on Twitter at Joshua Skelly. Uh, I'm currently working on finishing up my video game Delver. I am doing these Quake lunchtime streams because I like making tools and I like I like working with old tech and I like um, programmatically doing stuff. So uh, this will be this has been a fun project so far. Um, I want to thank my my subscribers. I am a Twitch affiliate, um, so my subscribers are Drakensen, Smith, Doctor Kegel, Shamblinot, Fifth Elephant, CV Ops, The Stone Compass, Neil Schlichter, and Bill the Dill. So thank you folks for supporting me. I consider it like a tip jar. I'm not gonna make a like I'm not gonna get rich off of my my Twitch income, but uh, it's definitely a vote of confidence and the stuff that you want to see me do. If you think it's entertaining or educational or you just want to see more of, of what, what's coming out of my brain, uh, please consider subscribing. Um, if you're a Twitch Prime person, you get a free one of those every month. So why not send it my way? Um, I do have a Discord channel um, where we talk about the things I work on. And we also talk about the things you work on. Uh, my server is broken out into channels by topic or by project rather. And there's a show and tell uh, channel where my, my very in intelligent and talented uh, viewers share the stuff they work on. So please check that out. All right. Um, I think I'm done for the day. I think I'm done shilling myself because I, I don't really like doing that. Uh, but whatever. Let me just do this. And let me say just have a, a good rest of your day. I will be back tomorrow at noon for more lunchtime uh, quick 2D tile maps. And I think I think in the meantime, I'm going to give myself a refresher on uh, linear algebra because uh, 
uh, this is unacceptable, and I, I, will, I will fix my brain before next uh, stream. All right, folks, have a good rest of your day. Bye.